Hello everyone, um, so I'm going to be splitting these up into small sections just so that way I can get them out faster. Um, so this one's just going to be how to import um, how to import a parasolid file into Star CCM. I'm going to be importing the cavity that we made to the front wing in the uh, last video I made. However, this will work for both cavities and positive parts. So if you want to import the wing itself, this will work as well. It's just a simple sim surface import. So we're going to have to go and uh, make a new sim file. Uh, so, just as a refresher, process options is first how many cores the program will use. Serial means it only uses one core. Parallel means it uses multiple cores. Localhost refers to your computer. These are, you know, more advanced if you have, if like, a supercomputer cluster or something you're connecting to, but we don't have that, so we're going to ignore that. Parallel localhost, again, this is how many cores your computer will use. It's your CPU, remember that, not GPU. Um, if you're unfamiliar with uh, CPUs and all that, just basically it has it has cores in it. Um, you can just look it up really quickly if you go to like your computer settings and look up what processor you have. Uh, if it's an Intel, Intel has like an entire library of their CPUs. AMD, I'm not entirely sure, but it can't be that hard to find either. So I have an i7 processor that has eight cores in it. Uh, for four logical, four hyperthreaded, I think is the terminology, I can't remember, but it essentially means I have four physical cores and it can make four virtual cores. Don't ask me how that works, I'm not a computer person, but anyways, yeah. Since I'm recording and doing stuff in the background for this, I'm not going to max it out to eight, which is what I would normally do when I'm running this. Uh, so let's just go with, uh, let's go with five. Nah, six, I like even numbers. So, okay, refresher out of the way. License, remember you hit power on demand, that automatically selects power session. Make sure your server is the 1999 at flex.cd-adapco.com. Make sure you're using your right power on demand key and hit OK. And now it will start up and make a new file. <coughs> if you're curious, there's just kind of information here about your license and it's initializing, it's checking in, this means you're good. And if you don't see this and you don't see all this pop up, that means something's wrong. Could be wrong. Could be invalid or wrong. Uh, license key. You could be on the wrong Wi-Fi. Remember, you can use ASU's Wi-Fi. The server will not connect on that. Something's wrong with the program, etc. But anyways, we were successful. So, like I said in the overview video, to import a well, in this case, we're importing a surface mesh from a parasol file. You use this little icon here that looks like a Triforce, or you can find it... Uh, you can find it up here somewhere, I'm sorry. I don't remember where it is. I think it may just because it's right here, but anyways. Let's import a surface mesh. Uh, we have to go dig through all of my files real quick. FSAE, where are you? Uh, what was it? Cavity tutorial, and remember, we're looking for the .xt. Now, if you remember from my last video, I kind of made two different ones. Cavity tutorial is the assembly level parasol that I made, and then part two is the actual cavity. So, let's just go with the actual cavity. And so, what you want to do is you want to make sure the import modes create new part. And if you remember from the overview video, that allows geometry to have a part in it. We don't want a region because the region's not going to be very helpful for this case. Although, to be honest, I've never really tried it, but anyways, yeah. So, mark feature edges, uh, no cat edges, sharp cat edges, all cat edges. I just say sharp cat edges. Um, again, it's not really a setting I've really played around too much with. Sharp angle edge, 30 degrees. So, again, I've never played around with this because I've never really had too many problems with it. Um, just because geometry we're using isn't going to be too complex, that's going to have a hard time importing. Uh, make sure all these are selected. Coincident tolerance, yeah, just leave it all there. Don't check any of this. Tessellation density, this is something I have played around with. Now, sometimes when the part is curved, it has a lot of curvature, um, especially like the nose cones or things like that. I found that I had to bump the tessellation density up. I've never played around with user defined, so I just let the program do it for me. So I just usually. It's usually a safe bet to say fine if you're more concerned, do very fine. But this is so that way when you import it in, curves get resolved properly. Because remember, it's making a surface mesh of our part. And you can kind of piece together what that means from the word surface mesh. It's making a mesh of surfaces from that part. And the tessellation density, tessellation is referring to it's making all the 
2D shape, all the 2D surfaces, and the density is asking, you know, how dense do you want this to be tessellated? So it's asking for how many of these surfaces are going to appear. And again, if you have a very, very intricate curvatures and all that, you'll want to have a very fine tessellation density so that way it gets resolved properly on the surface. Otherwise, it's going to look blocky, there are going to be issues, um, etc. So, we want to say very fine. And remember how I was talking about how scenes open up as you import things in? This is an example of that. So, import options, open geometry scene after import. So, if you leave this open, it will automatically make a geometry scene with your geometry in it. So, we're going to hit OK important part finish. It'll take a little longer for larger things, but yeah. So here's a geometry scene, and here is what the standard geometry scene looks like. As you can see, none of the bound, none of the uh, <coughs> regions, boundaries, none of those are highlighted. And if you look inside, we have our wing. We have our wing. So yeah, this is a cavity, and again, this will work if you're not importing a cavity, you're just importing a parasolid, but that's all for this video. Uh, next video, uh, we'll start explaining the surfaces on the wing.